Hi, I'm Night Jewel, and this is Fact TV Against the Clock. Um, so I'm just going to pick a tempo. I picked 87 because it's a good tempo. It's kind of slow. You can hear it. Easy so you don't make a mistake. And a kick and snare. Let's see. So I'll just take a piece of that. I'll first I'll just quantize it slightly. Um. I like the second half better, I think. It's more messy. it a few times and I have a shaker sound that's a little bit too real sounding so I'm gonna just cut it a bunch Quantize it slightly, but not all the way, so you're still getting that human feel. That's good. And just this one's a little bit ahead. Um, sometimes you just gotta adjust things multiple times. Um, and then I'm gonna add some delay on the shaker. Just really simple to give it some sort of swing. gonna put a loop on that so we don't have to like think about this anymore. Um, I was thinking maybe a hi-hat would be cool. That would probably come in later in the beat. Um, and then I would put like some sort of sound on there, like um, resonator, <laughs> quantize it a teeny tiny bit just because it's like, and every time I quantize, I'm quantizing it like maybe like 60%, sometimes 70, right now 75. Again, just like EQing that a lot because it just sounds too real is how I like to describe it. Okay, and then maybe some bass on there. I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I figured C minor is cool.
duplicate the drum and snare tracks so I can deal with them separately, like as far as the volumes and stuff like that. That's like really helpful when you're trying to get it to sound somewhat better than just like the jankiest thing that happens right away. Um. thinking maybe a um, like a chordal pattern um, something rhythmic um. oh make sure all your MIDI cables are plugged in properly <laughs> before you do stuff it up like an octave I guess. And um, this is Nigel signing off.